What happens when you mix THCH with Tokyo's high-tech cyberpunk madness? In April of 2023, I explored Japan and discovered a synthetic legal cannabinoid and tested its effect for science. What is the deal with Japan's strange weed loophole? And what isn't their government telling us? This is an educational documentary. I do not condone or glorify THCH or any cannabis derivative. In fact, this was a one-time experience I wouldn't repeat, even though it was legal then. However, cigarettes and whiskey are legal too, but that doesn't mean that they're good for you. So make your own informed decisions. Note, THCH can cause anxiety, paranoia, and cognitive impairment. And since August 4th, 2023, THCH CH is classified as an illegal substance, except for medical use. So please do not come to Japan solely for this reason. The boat has long sailed, my friend. THCH is a synthetic cannabinoid mimicking THC's psychoactive effects. When scientists created THCH, they made a molecule similar to THC, but with more carbon atoms in its chain. This longer chain changes how the molecule works in the body, possibly making it more effective or altering its effects, such as a longer high. These synthetic cannabinoids are often used to exploit legal loopholes in strict cannabis law regions like Japan. But like many of these synthetic counterparts, carries potential health risks and can be swiftly banned once its usage spreads. One example is HHCH, which was banned shortly after people who consumed gummies containing the cannabinoid had to go to hospital. THCH exploits a legal grey area in Japan's strict drug laws. The 1948 Cannabis Control Act bans the cultivation, sale and possession of cannabis but doesn't cover all synthetic cannabinoids, allowing THCH to slip through the cracks like a ninja. Historically, Japan used cannabis for fibers and ceremonies. It was unlikely that they were consuming it for psychoactive effects, but rather used for ceremonial objects. For example, the Shinto people using hemp rope to ward off evil spirits. Post-World War II regulations cracked down hard on THC, leading to severe penalties and sparking a game of cat and mouse between chemists and regulators. New derivatives like THCH, THCB emerge but only to be banned soon after. It's like battling a hydra. Cut off one head and three more appear. So THCH's unique chemical structure kept it legal for a while, but Japan's history shows that such loopholes close quickly. Other cannabinoids have faced similar fates, such as Delta-8 THC, HHC, and THCO and Delta-10 THC. In Japan, cannabis is often depicted as a dangerous and life-destroying substance. The media and government campaigns have historically portrayed cannabis negatively, associating it with laziness, criminal behavior, and social failure. Whereas Japanese culture highly values social harmony, hard work, and discipline. A Japanese friend of mine told me that it is actually more socially acceptable to admit that you take shrooms than it is marijuana. Cannabis use in Japan carries a heavy social stigma, with only about 1.8% of Japanese people reportedly having tried it, compared to over 40% in the US and Canada. The stigma was infamously highlighted in 2020 when a Japanese man and woman were arrested simply for posting positive comments about cannabis on social media. Apparently, praising joints in Japan gets you thrown in one. This reflects the Japanese government covering up any productive conversations about cannabis and instead decides to play a game of whack-a-mole with THC analogs. <laughs> milligrams of THCH and 10 milligrams of THCB. I never even heard of it before today and we're going to try this. 
the manager said that this is really, really strong, so it's probably better to kind of break it up and roll our own. Blueberry. Manager saw this and he's like, oh, professional. I have to state that this contains zero THC. I'm not sure if it's like a loophole because I read online that this is supposed to be a very similar effect to THC and maybe it's like a different variation like LSD versus 1P LSD. I'm gonna do research after this because I've never heard of THC H before, but I suspect that this is legal and THC is not because of some loophole. Because it's like, oh, well, technically it's not THC. It gets you just as high, but it's not THC. But we'll see. I'll be doing some research, keep you guys updated, and we're gonna now go outside and smoke this. I don't really smoke weed anymore. It's been quite a while. I think I went like six months without it. Kind of went back on it for like a week and then went off traveling to Turkey, Korea, Japan. So this might hit me like a ton of bricks. We'll see. <laughs> this is weed, bro. <laughs> this is just straight up weed. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're gonna have to play around with doses. <laughs> but for this video, I'm supposed to like analyze it and explain exactly what it is, but like naturally, I just like to be in the moment and it is what it is. But for the sake of the video, I guess I'll try to describe the feeling. But if you've had weed before, it has definitely that serotonin uplifting euphoria type feeling bit wobbly in the legs but that's probably the CBD I feel like kind of like tingling in my body a little bit but again I've had a lot of CBD in the shop so those effects would obviously be uh, counteracting with the THCH and THCB yeah it definitely has a weed effect because I'm like a bit slower in thinking already but not as much it's not like it's like a little bit it feels a little bit more pure if that makes sense so it's like I'm getting more of the positive effects of THC and I'll I'll explain as I go along because this is just the initial effect the come up phase but I feel like I'm getting more of the positive effects of THC and less of the negative because usually and why I stopped smoking weed is because it clouded my mind too much and it didn't especially long term you know like it messed with my memory my speech I wouldn't be able to talk very well but this, I feel like this has slowed things down. So like my brain is usually like, duck, 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 and this is kind of like, <sighs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> all these Japanese guys are like these fucking gaijins. <laughs> so it's definitely not as potent in smelling apparently, but yeah, it's kind of like a, a weaker strain, if that makes sense. But I had a tiny, tiny bit. When I did smoke weed, I would put a lot more so maybe we'll do another double up on another dose and then see how we go. So this is just like phase one. All right, so I'll keep you guys updated on the next one. Crazy? Yeah, yeah crazy, crazy. Crazy. crazy, crazy. Yeah, like most crazy. <laughs> Marijuana? Marijuana. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> Co cocaine for Marijuana. <laughs> Mm. 
So one thing I've noticed now is that I feel the polar opposite to anxiety, like zero. Because you know sometimes we get like a slight paranoia, especially maybe if you're walking out in the streets in a foreign country. It's like my second day in Tokyo, but now I'm just like, no worries, man. Absolutely no worries. Basically in the pretty much the red light district. That's where people, men and women, go to have fun. There's a lot of male gigolos, which yes. is something that I was very surprised and interested by. Very good looking men, very stylish. Many of the times like bleached blonde anime type hair. Yeah. <laughs> and you see him walk out of the bars and clubs with a female companion. They're laughing, having a good time, like that guy you saw yesterday mm -hmm. and he kinda like grabs the girl's ass ever so gently, ever so sensually. <laughs> class. It, it is classy. classy. Yeah, well, they paid for class. Yeah, they're paying for class, exactly. The woman wants to be Because it's not necessarily like paying for sex, it's yeah. paying for a date, paying for a good time, yeah. paying to get complimented. Like you're saying yeah. the men do the same thing. You yes. can go to bars where women, or where you can pay a woman to basically just hang out with you, give you compliments, make you feel good, have dinner with her, converse. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about dinner, maybe just drinks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just drinks. Dinner is, I think, separate. These, these guys. These are the guys you basically paid. Uh, that guy looks like a vampire wanting to suck your very essence. And some girls are into that. Hence Twilight. All right, where are we going, straight? That's me. What they end on. So for one year, one year speedrun. How long is legal? So then, hear that, Tom? THCO was legal for one year, and two weeks ago became illegal in Japan. So THCH is legal, but it will be illegal soon. Minasan, these are the THC derivatives that are causing our money to go through the roof. それらを禁止する必要がありますしかし先生それらは技術的には頑張つですそしてそれらを禁止するとさらに多くのものが出現するだけです天高さんそれは難発生の問題ではありませんそれはコントロールについてですもっと人を狩る必要があるかどうかは気にしませんそのままにしておいてください本当の理由は何ですか大臣公衆伊勢をもし人々が死を投げられたら彼らは私たちに疑問を巻き始めるかもしれません。私は名国での60年代のヒッピー運動の繰り返しを望んでいません。これを治安対策と名付けて今週末までに可決しましょう。それと同時に医療大麻にもタークの投資をしましょう。わしたちは打撃を避けますが、娯楽目的でそれに関わったものは将棋制を受けます。では私たちは医療用大麻で利益を得て娯楽目的で使用する人たちを厳しく発しているのでしょうか正確にそれをうまく提示すれば大衆は受け入れてくれるでしょう
Exploring altered states of consciousness opens doors to new dimensions within the mind. Japan is known for its highly innovative art and technology, as you're about to see with Tokyo's Team Lab psychedelic trip simulation, which converges psychedelic art and technology, evoking a sensory experience that will blow your mind. No drugs necessary. They play on all of your senses. Mm. They touch, feel, heat, temperature, sensation. Whoa, this is getting deep. Wow. Just as THC heightens sensory awareness, this psychedelic light show demonstrates the seamless fusion of art and technology to broaden our perception, a concept embraced by Japan. So what insights can we gain from this fleeting legality and subsequent ban of THC analogues? Is there even value in these analogues when the original THC exists? Well mate, you're gonna have to keep watching aren't you? THCH is like trying to run a marathon in flip-flops. At first it feels like a quirky fun idea, but soon you realize you're stumbling, out of breath, and seriously questioning your life choices. Navigating Tokyo's vibrant cityscape under the influence of THC was a mixed bag. Initially it was a thrilling adventure, don't get me wrong, but the more I toked, the less fun it became. And the more negative effects I noticed, even after a few days, such as tiredness and brain fog. Yet the cravings grew stronger. It's like having a slice of chocolate cake. Every now and again, it's not gonna kill you. But have it all day every day, then you turn into a fat slob. Especially if you're prone to sugar addiction. Using any cannabinoid derivative for habitual fun, I think ultimately lowers your dopamine 
baseline. And after long-term daily use, this can lead to low moods, poor memory recall, and lower energy levels. Ultimately, judo chopping your potential. So personally speaking, I've experienced this with my own two decade long run of consuming normal THC. So I could only imagine the less studied synthetic counterparts. Quitting THC felt like dropping a backpack filled with heavy rocks. I felt lighter, thought clearer, and rediscovered new levels of joy with the sober mind. So considering the high illegality and potential long-term downfalls, I give THCH a one star. It was great at the very beginning, but it quickly lost its flair. And not that I condone it, but if you absolutely insist on getting high, it's probably better just sticking with the OG THC. Honestly, nothing beats it. At least for now. So when I returned to Japan the following year with my wife, completely sober-minded, I realized that the joy wasn't diminished at all. And at the end of the day, it's all about your mindset and the company that you keep. <laughs> THC analogs may offer a temporary escape, but it's often short-lived and doesn't actually give you anything long-term. But this is just my personal experience and opinion. However, it's important to note, like this study concluded, that there's a fundamental difference between, let's say, older individuals who use cannabis medically, who may experience more positive side effects, versus younger adult recreational users. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how potentially dangerous any drug is, to throw someone in the cage for their personal life choices is just silly. Ruining someone's life to prevent them from ruining it with drugs it's like burning down a house to prevent a fire hazard. You're guaranteed the disaster you were trying to avoid. It just makes no goddamn logical sense. But if you scratch the surface just a little bit, it's not hard to know why these laws are set in place. <laughs> Big Pharma. <clears throat> Sorry, that's something stuck in my throat. Black markets lead into the distribution of dangerous cartridges and variants of THC that will become hazardous as they narrow the pool for legal alternatives. The logical choice would be to legalize and regulate natural cannabis and just tax the hell out of it. It becomes much more safe that way. However, Japanese culture can be very stubborn to change, which on one hand is what led to such a unique and untouched culture with very little influence from the outside world. But on the other hand, not changing old draconian laws ends up harming the youth which are going to smoke up whether it's natural THC or the cutting edge THC ABCD blah, 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 that has zero research and potential harsher downfalls. Tokyo is like a psychedelic trip in and of itself. Everything glows, moves, and feels like you're in a futuristic utopia with just a hint of madness. One minute you're lost in a sea of neon lights in Shibuya Crossing, the next you're petting a cat in a cafe. But moving aside personal experiences, since this is irrelevant to the larger issue, Japan has a strange relationship with the cannabis plant. It seems to be more about economic interests and societal control, which is what the Japanese government doesn't want us to know. Playing whack-a-mole with THC analogs and having an unrealistic 0.001% THC cap on CBD products is just counterproductive. And by keeping the details of their policies vague, the government seems inconsistent, driven by more than just public safety concerns. The future of cannabis in Japan remains uncertain, as the country maintains strict regulations, but there is a growing interest in medical applications and potential economic benefits. Only time will tell. THCH wants a legal drug Gone into obscurity, swept under a rug New cannabinoids rise to the surface each day They come and then they go away Like Ash Catch in Japan tried to catch them all But with so many Pokemon it's a never ending hole It's a never ending hole Sayonara THC Kamehameha, that of Japan's floor Until the next game of whack-a-mole Cannot kill the cannabis soul
if you enjoyed that shitty unpolished song, but there you go, mate. Hope you enjoyed this doco. Usually this kind of content flies under the radar, so your support is what really keeps us going. If you wish to join our movement that challenges the status quo and wakes people up, like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. For that extra support, join our Patreon for exclusive content or consider a one-time donation. Honestly, every bit of support counts and is greatly appreciated. Thanks for being part of our journey. Much love and catch you on the next one. Peace.